understanding thrusters a dive into a dynamic phrase hello language enthusiasts today we're going to explore an interesting phrase in english thrusters often heard but sometimes misunderstood this term has various meanings depending on the context join us as we delve into the world of thrusters unraveling its different uses and connotations Let's start with the core meaning. In its most basic form, thrusters refer to engines or devices that produce thrust. This thrust is a force that propels or drives something forward. You'll commonly hear this term in aerospace, marine, and mechanical contexts. For instance, rocket thrusters help in maneuvering a spacecraft, while thrusters in a ship assist in its navigation. Interestingly, the term has been adopted into the fitness world too. A thruster in exercise is a compound movement combining a front squat with an overhead press. It's a dynamic, full-body exercise popular in fitness regimes like CrossFit. This usage highlights the adaptability of English phrases across different fields. Moving beyond literal meanings, thrusters can be used metaphorically in casual speech someone might say i need to put the thrusters on this project implying the need to speed up or intensify efforts this metaphorical use borrows from the original idea of propulsion applying it to general scenarios of acceleration or increased effort as with many english terms thrusters can be misunderstood or misused. It's important to distinguish it from similar sounding words or phrases. For example, don't confuse it with thruster, which could refer to a single device or engine, or with thrusts, a verb form or noun indicating the act of pushing forcibly. Context is key in understanding its correct application. We hope this journey through the different facets of thrusters has been enlightening and fun. Whether in the realm of technology, fitness, or metaphorical speech, this phrase holds a dynamic place in the English language. Keep exploring and enjoying the richness of English, and as always, stay curious.